All right, so we got that done. We are clearly recording audio now. Now, let's see this in action. Oh, hey, where's the audio? Oh, there is audio. It's just coming from the microphone rather than in-game audio. What do we do? How do we fix this in Linux? Well, everyone, this is testing to have YouTube and Luna Zipcast, if that site ever comes back up. And I will be explaining to you exactly how to do such a thing within Linux. In-game audio from ye general screen recorders for when GLC doesn't work. Otherwise, just use GLC. So, onward. Alright, so just a quick update as to what has happened to me in the past few months, where I haven't been putting up as many videos as I'd like. I got a new computer, I made a bunch of native gaming, Unreal 2004, I made my Zipcast account moon, everything was perfect, and then that computer broke. So I went back to the store since it was under 30 days, and I got the same make and model, believing it to be me, and then everything was fine again. I made a bunch of native gaming dolphin, which had the most complicated video edits I ever had, by the way, and then that computer broke. Same error, wouldn't turn back on, only this time. I didn't do anything but do school and listen to some music on it. So I went back to the store and so it was still under 30 days. I got a different computer that was cheaper, not as powerful. I was able to upgrade some components of it. And it has been past 30 days, even though I got a year warranty. Though, though it's allowed to break within a year, I believe it's here to stay. Because again, it's been past 30 days. Uh, specs will be in the description. As for the laptop, I will no longer be doing Linux gaming in a weak PC because I no longer have a PC. So even if you request it, I will not be able to do it. Why? Because some guys were about to throw this laptop, which I'm currently using out. I said I'll take it, and it is so much better than the PC. I'm so happy with it, so that's why I had to change some stuff around, upgrade some stuff. But hey, we're here. So, oh yes, I also got invited to the Jasura Linux beta trial thingy. I'll do future videos on that, but right now I believe I shall be going to this, because this is the kind of information every Linux gamer should know. How to record sounds, in-game audio, from not GLC recordings. By any other means, you should use GLC, no matter what it is. But sometimes GLC won't work with everything, seeing as it's not exactly a wraps, and also it does not hook itself up to every game. Good example, Mugen. So what do you do? Uh, first, you have to find yourself a good screen recorder. Most go by record my desktop. I personally prefer prefer FFmpeg, especially after using cut black use code here I have to thank him for that though I did edit some stuff around and by the way this is video response to Cambrotron number one who was having a problem though he was having it in Alsa I will tell you right now Alsa uses I am not able to help you I only know how to do it in pulse though I did think I saw something on the Wikipedia page, I have so far lost that page and will have to find it. If I find it again, link will be in the description. There will be a link in the description for God Let Use page, since he's also very nice. And also Cam Trombro number Cambrotron number one. It's an awesome name, by the way. His channel, since he has a better computer and everything as I do. But anyway. On to this video, this will be how to do it in pulse. Firstly, let's look at the code. No matter what screen recorder you're using, except if it's Kazam, since Kazam is basically FFmpeg, that's already compiled for you to be able to do it anyways, you have to configure some stuff. For example, I'll explain about that in a bit, but for example, in order to actually get it to record from anything, normally this thing has the complicated, uh, that code, which I believe is a technical term for some sort of audio device. But let's just say to hook it up to Pulse, since that's what we're going to be recording from. Uh, this here, for FFmpeg, will determine the frames per second that you want. I keep it to 30, since that's the most YouTube allows anyway. And of course you can select, or change that to whatever you wish. I keep it at AVI, it's a nice format, it's what I'm used to. And yeah, that's pretty much all that I can figure. So, now that that's working, it is hooked up to Pulse. 
However, it will record from your microphone. How do we get it to record from in-game audio? Like even if you open up a game, whether it be web game, or a game that GLC won't attach itself to, for example, Mugen, right here. You want to get it to record from in-game audio. Normally, by any other means, I... Sorry. I would say, went over here, it'll go over here and switch it to duplex audio thing, however that's not available here. So, by any other other means, I would go over here and say, monitor audio. Monitor of internal audio. However, that is some for reason not working. It used to work all the time before. I thought, close. I thought I was lost. But I have found out something, yes. By going into, oh yeah, by the way, two things that you will need, which you can find in the software center. Or you can just go into the terminal, say, sudo app, get install, have you control. But, uh, pulse, open, sesame. You need the pulse audio manager, not manager, device chooser, and pulse audio audio control. Well, in control. I can't speak. Anyways, with this thing open, you need to go to the Configure local sound server, I think. I didn't exactly make a script here. I don't think I needed to. Okay. Now, while this is a simultaneous output so that you can record, you would guess it would be to record in-game audio and your microphone. It unfortunately does not work that way, I have found. I don't know why. Maybe I need to reload this machine. I don't know. I will end up doing that when Oneric goes live. It's officially released maybe a month or two after so that they work out most of the bugs that people find. But anyways. So if you want to record in-game audio and your voice, you can just open up Audacity or something. And record your voice and put it side by side with your in-game audio, which is what I actually have done before. Or you could just set your speakers up loud enough. that you can record yourself and then get audio both at once which I have also actually tried in the past while that does work you normally want to get some clear audio so in the post audio value control have you control go over to playback you see I have already done so but normally this is set to internal analog stereo. You remember back, not too long ago, when I went over to configure local sound server and said make a simultaneous output, this is what it's for. We'll say that to go through the simultaneous output, which we can now tell if I don't like to record from the simultaneous output, which means it will record whatever the simultaneous output is set to. Meaning Sorry if that was too loud for you, but that's how it's done. Though again, normally, when it works, you want to switch it to monitor of internal audio analog stereo. So that's it, that's how you do it on Pulse. I hope this video has helped you out. If you have any questions, comments, well, any questions or anything, make a comment. Like this video if it helped you out. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already done so. Um, yeah, I shall see you next video then.